Hi again, I'm Claudia. Welcome to Unit 5 for the Occupational Health and Safety Management Auditing. By the end of Learning Unit 5, students will be able to describe the importance of occupational safety and health management audit, identify the diverse types of safety audit, and understand the implementation of occupational safety and health audit system. Auditing is an element of a safety management program. It provides information about the effectiveness of the program and contributes to management control of other processes, systems, facilities, and safety, and also health programs. A sound safety management audit program will help to improve the effectiveness of a safety management program. An audit is a systematic independent review to verify conformance with established guidelines or standards. It employs a well-defined review process to ensure consistency and to allow the auditor to reach defensible conclusions. Other related activities sometimes referred to as audits, including the following. Number one, inspection. And number two, the assessment, evaluation, and review. Safety audit is a systematic review of operations and practices to ensure that relevant requirements are met. It is also defined as report cuts on success of safety and health programs, environmental programs and process safety management. Safety audit are structured evaluations on performance and compliance, a structured methodical assessment and evaluation of how workplace activities affect safety and health. It also reveals how an organization is doing in maintaining a safe and healthy environment. Its goal is to ensure a safe and healthy workplace by striving to eliminate unsafe practices and hazards that lead to injuries and accidents. Senior management is responsible for establishing the safety management audit program. If the company has not established the necessary management systems to plan, execute and document safety management audits, then the site management should assume those responsibilities. Management is responsible for the three following aspects of the safety management audit program. The first aspect is policy, whereby management establishes the overall policies that will control the audit activity. Next is the commitment in which management establishes the proper philosophical tone for the audit program. And the third aspect is procedure, whereby management establishes and implements the appropriate management system procedures for the safety management audit program. According to Ismail Bahari 1996, there are three characteristics of safety audit. Number one, it is a systematic critical examination of activities. Number two, it is used to determine whether activities conform to plan arrangements and prescribed objectives. And number three is to determine whether the activities comply with the legal requirements, standards, and related practices. The objectives of work safety audit are to provide feedback to the employer, to verify compliance with legislative requirements, standards, procedures, and guidelines, to confirm to good practices and procedures, and to propose to any necessary changes and monitoring. There are various types of safety audit, but we will be looking closely at the safety audits by Wellers 1995 and Pibus 1996. According to Wellers 1995, there are three types of safety audit. Number one is the technical and process audit. The technical and process audit looks at the design, construction, and operation of the facility to ensure it meets the latest requirements of the law, standards, and codes of practice. One example of this type of audit is the audit fire system. The second type is the specific hazard audit. This audit is carried out to ensure that the legislative requirements and the company of any hazard field the example of this type of audit is the audit chemicals. The third type is the management audit, and this audit is to assess compliance with the policies and objectives of the company. Pibus 1996 also stated three types of safety audit. The first one is the operational audit. This audit is conducted on the operation. For example, 
is C, a basic understanding of general safety and health of workers, compliance with safe work procedures, compliance procedures with loyal conditions, and etc. The second one is the system audit. The audit looked at the relationship between security procedures, standard company, international standard, act, rules, and so on. The third type is the strategic audit. This audit sees the value and commitment to occupational safety and health program at the policy level and objectives. There are many ways to execute and implement audit system at the workplace. The easiest way is to give accreditation to an audit company to do the audit. Appointing external auditor is very expensive if the company's financial resources are limited. There is also outside auditors with the audit package that does not include all of the elements of the audit scope required. Thus, it is better for the organization to develop and implement its own audit system. Executing and implementing audit system requires commitment from employers and also the management. Employers must be committed in developing and implementing the safety audit, which includes knows and believe that the audit is an important element in the management of OSH system. What is proposed from the result of auditing should be implemented as soon as possible, although there is no legislative implications. And management also must inform and gives awareness to workers that the audit is not about finding fault, but to find ways to improve OSH by cooperating with the auditor. The second way to execute and implement audit system at the workplace is to build an audit system. The first step is to determine the basis of the audit, which is what you want to achieve and how it should be done by considering the scope and objectives of the audit, procedures and standards to be used, who is carrying it out, an audit report format, and arrangements for reviewing the audit policy and to implement it. After the issue was considered, then think about whether to use package audit or to develop on audit system. The third step in executing and implementing audit system at the workplace is by having auditor training and selection. Auditing should be led by the chief auditor. And a chairman is appointed from among senior and experienced staff. Chairman of the audit activities is responsible to lead and plan implement and reporting the audit results. Auditing must be done independently without being influenced by anybody and must also be a competent person. If a member of the audit system does not have the qualifications, competency training in the field of OSH should be given. The fourth step in executing and implementing audit system at the workplace is auditing. Auditing involves activities such as meeting on audit, inspection of documents, and the site visit and work activities. During the audit process, the auditor must keep records related to the process and the results of audits for future reference. The auditor must also be able to receive pressure from certain parties to discover issues and situations that are outside their expertise. The auditor must also promptly notify those who had been audited of any findings that are dangerous and requires immediate action. The fifth step is on reporting audit. The report must be prepared and conducted with integrity. There are three types of audit report. Number one is the initial feedback, which is a summary of the findings met at the end of the data collection phase. The findings should have immediate action from those who are being audited. Second one is the draft report. It is prepared for the final review by the employer and management. And the third one is the final report, which will be met comprehensively and which will be submitted to the employer.